What's up GI Dojo fans? I got a quick video for you guys today. I've been wanting to put together a bullet man for a long time, but I didn't want to pay the exorbitant prices that they're going for on eBay. So what I have done is I purchased a Hasbro Defender. This is the body. It's like a Ken doll body. This was a uh, more cost effective answer to GI Joe that was also made by Hasbro. Uh, and this is the Defender head. The Defender head, I'm sure a lot of you guys know, is the same as the Bullet Man head, just different paint applications for the eyes. And what I did is I took the the Defender head off of the Defender, I put it on a um, Guyper Man muscle body, which this is like a brand new reproduction muscle body. They are uh, sold at Cotswold Collectibles. That's going to be www.gijoelite.com. So you know, I paid twenty dollars for the Defender to get the head I paid 42 for the body and I just popped it on there and now I also have some other reproduction bullet man parts I'm gonna combine it with but then I thought what am I gonna do with the defender body I, I don't want to just throw it in the trash I mean it is like almost a 50 year old toy and that's in great condition and I was thinking he would look really good sitting in my space capsule uh, so I purchased this uh, Cotswold Collectibles Elite Brigade head, uh, Jake head, they call it, which is like the, the their version of G.I. Joe. Got that for $2.99. Got him in a nice white hair, and I popped that on the body, and it, it fit perfectly. And I decided to um, go with their Elite Brigade brand um, astronaut, you know, jumpsuit. So I'm going to put these uniforms on and uh, see what they look like. Okay, now I just squeezed this reproduction uh, bullet man jumpsuit onto our Guyper Man body and it barely fits. So anyone who tries to, um, you know, duplicate the figure that I'm working on here today, just uh, buyer beware. It's going to be very hard to get on. Uh, you might even risk ripping it. Uh, I just wanted to show off here. They got these really nice round uh, metal snaps, real high quality. And then of course, you have the two um, metal eyelets that the piece of string um, goes inside of uh, so Bullet Man can fly through the air. Okay, here we are with our two figures all dressed up. Our uh, Guyper Man body with a Defender head. He has a all metal reproduction G.I. Joe uh, Bullet Man helmet I got off eBay, which you guys seen in a previous video. He has a reproduction uh, jumpsuit and belt. I am still waiting on a package uh, for the reproduction boots, but those should be here in sometime in the next two to three weeks. Uh, that's what I was trying to wait on those boots for about two months, and they still hadn't arrived from South America. So I just went ahead and uh, had Cotswold Collectibles ship my order, and I will get the boots separately. But I just wanted to show you what he looks like today. Still need to get an emblem. And obviously his arms aren't chrome. But I'm just going to pretend this is like the prototype bullet man. Uh, this is before his accident where he, he damaged his arms in his first flight. <laughs> uh, a little bit of fan fiction there. Here is our uh, Adventures of G.I. Joe astronaut type suit here on our Hasbro Defender with Cotswold Collectibles Jake head and uh, you know he doesn't need articulation because he's just going to be sitting in the space capsule hanging from my roof in my game room uh, anyway that's today's video guys I just wanted to show you it's somewhat possible to put together a reproduction bullet man without having to pay all the eBay prices um, and you know altogether I paid twenty dollars for the used Hasbro Defender I think I paid uh, 42 for the body. Uh, I believe the belt was about five dollars, and the jumpsuit was about 15, and the boots are going to be another 15. So altogether, less than 100 dollars, and all the parts are brand spanking new except for the head. Uh, and then just so we didn't, you know, chuck the body in the trash, we ended up with a whole second figure. So anyway, that's just today's video, guys. Have a good weekend and uh, we will see you soon.